Hi, my name is Scott Ford and I'm Principal Architect of Technology Alliances and I'm going to do a short video for you on AWS deployment automation and why the work we're doing around that matters both to the company and to our customers. Lacework, of course, is, our, is the security platform that uh, we've built to tackle the challenges of modern cloud security at scale. And when we talk about scale, we're talking about our largest customers are securing oftentimes hundreds, many hundreds of AWS accounts with lots of variety, lots of changes that are going on, lots of different services and applications that are being deployed continuously. And so Lacework is purpose built to be able to understand all of that change, uh, build out baselines, raise out relevant information for our customers so they can operate as securely as possible and focus on their top challenges, which are really shipping their own digital businesses. Now, uh, we run at the scale problem. And what do I mean by that? When a customer or prospect comes to us, they may say, well, listen, our environment is really big. It's really big. We've got 100 AWS accounts that we need to secure. We need to integrate those into Lacework and we need to secure them. And we run at that challenge. We say, great, please, even in a trial, bring us your largest environments. We want to show you how this platform can handle the largest environments that exist out there. Now, um, when you're talking about managing large environments, of course, there are patterns that have been developed now for many years around how you manage large environments at scale. And I, I'm going to give you an example of this. Of course, we're talking about uh, AWS here. Now, AWS is you know, undeniably the largest cloud on the planet today. And one could look at all of the services for AWS and say, that's the reason why AWS is so big, right? They've got the largest selection of services for you to build your digital business off of. But actually, there's something else that's really powering uh, the reason why so many companies are able to adopt AWS and to automate AWS and deploy applications at scale and get their businesses running. And that's actually a different, um, uh, uh, this is a topic that we should cover right away. This is the philosophy behind a lot of the work that we're doing at Lacework. So when we think about large scale environments inside of AWS, so I'm giving you an example here of a diagram of maybe of an application that's deployed out there. If I want to deploy out an application, do you think really that a developer is coming into the console here and looking for a elastic uh, Kubernetes service here and clicking through the console to launch out a new cluster and type it all out and, and do everything in the GUI, right? That's not how elite performing companies operate. They operate AWS through AWS's APIs, through automation. And so this example that we're looking at here is, I've got a big environment that's on the right here of complex services that are running, but on the left, there's code, there's automation code that's actually configuring these services. So they hit Amazon's APIs and, and tell Amazon to spin me up a, uh, a Kubernetes cluster or to spin up a load balancer, to create a VPC, a virtual private network, and get all that launched out. And this is really how the elite performers are operating. They automate everything from their cloud environments. And this isn't just AWS, but this could be your Datadog deployment, or it could be your GitHub uh, repos that you use for all the source code inside of your environment. They're all just services with APIs that need to be configured. And that's not a job for human beings, not with elite performing companies. That is a job for automation to solve. Now, Undeniably, one of the largest automation companies on the planet today, of course, is HashiCorp. And HashiCorp have built a framework called Terraform, uh, which allows you to automate all kinds of different cloud environments. So we're looking here at some examples of the cloud environments, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, right? Our big top three, Kubernetes, also really important to Lacework. When you look inside of one of these providers, any of the services, right? So these services, when we look at the services that AWS has made available for customers to build off of, at the same side, um, 
HashiCorp have made Terraform resources, which allow you to automate any of the configuration of the platform. And this allows uh, customers like Lacework who use AWS to quickly spin up services, get value out of it, and of course, spend more money with AWS. So AWS is winning there. Now this philosophy and this pattern is really no different when it comes to Lacework. If you think about Lacework as a platform, and the, the example I shared about hundreds of AWS accounts, as an example, we did a recent trial with a customer and they needed to want to really see how Lacework handled their scale as a gaming company. So they wanted to deploy 166 AWS accounts and integrate them into Lacework as quickly as possible. Now, of course, all the settings that you need to go and configure Lacework uh, to, to do those integrations do exist um, inside the UI. I, I could go through this process and I could click create new and do this 166 different times and get that all integrated. But that is a project that could take weeks to do. It's error prone. That is not a job for human beings. And it's for this reason that Lacework have invested a ton of time over the last uh, year plus to develop our own Terraform providers for Lacework. And we're really proud of this. You can see right now where um, we have been building this um, Terraform provider and uh, Terraform modules for integrating our customers' cloud environments into Lacework. And we've already have over um, close to 20,000 installs of our, of our Terraform provider in just a single year, which is amazing work. Now it's through these, this, this, um, this work that that customer was able to integrate all 166 AWS accounts in under an hour in a single deployment session. And so this is really important for them to be able to get integrated, get their uh, environments under observability of Lacework, and then to be able to start to, to understand, realize the value of the platform. But integration is just one step, right? Getting your cloud environments integrated. When you look inside of Lacework, every single one of these things are different settings. I may have um, Lacework as a multi-tenant platform, so I may have many different sub-accounts and I may have many different teams that are responding to events that Lacework are raising up. And so for each one of those accounts, I may have to go in and configure them, configure different alert channels, right? When we raise an alert, where do we want to send that? Do we want to send it to PagerDuty or Datadog or Slack? Which team do we want to send that to? Those are all configurations that need to be put in place to get a, a customer really getting value out of the platform. Additionally, as we move down to newer capabilities that are coming down the line, we have custom policies that we're going to be able to create and custom compliance reporting that we may need to, to uh, configure. And, um, and all of these are an opportunity for configuration with automation. And so to show you where we are today, we are down the path now to providing custom resources for every single configuration of the Lacework platform. So it's not just the integration in AWS, for instance, but it's every single configuration inside of the Lacework platform. These are the same principles that are used to automate Lace, uh, AWS itself or to automate GCP or to automate Azure or on and on and on. Every single SaaS platform out there is something that a team has to manage. And if they're spending time managing that using manual processes, then they're not actually delivering real value to the business. And so Lacework has taken a different approach where we are focused on providing state-of-the-art automation for our customers so that they can automate more, get more value out of the platform and, uh, and continue to be a customer for life.